Good morning, Somerset. Here are your Thursday announcements. There will be no school on this Friday, April 14th, so enjoy your day off. Yep. 2017 Scholar Athletes, the Girls State's Basketball three-point participants, and the Math Scholarship winner will be recognized at the board meeting on Monday, April 17th at 7. There will be the athletic team pictures for track and field at 3.30 and girls soccer at 4 on Monday. There will be a prom meeting from 10 to 12 in Friday, on Friday in the NPR. And Miss Christensen is looking for some seniors to volunteer for the Elementary Sports Day on June 1st from 9 to 2.30, so email her if you are interested. Six to ten volunteers are needed for the Somerset Chamber of Commerce Easter Egg Hunt this weekend. If you would like to participate, um, contact, her, contact, contact Kelly Woodstock at 651-249-584. Salutations, Somerset. Here's lunch. Beef nachos or Spartan pizza with with a, a, a side of lettuce, tomatoes, pinto beans, salsa, and pears. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> the more you know. For today's interesting fact, did you know that today is our 50th announcements? So we decided that we're not going to be doing the interviews. We brought on a special guest to interview us, the cast of the announcements. <laughs> Timeless, classic, improvisation. Just several words used to describe the talents of Dominic and Ben Schmidt. Ethan, Marshall, and Wyatt. Dirkus, Devin. Welcome, Bryson Kalotic. Uh, could you please just start by enlightening your fellow students about what inspired you to get the morning announcement started? I guess uh, student council had the idea last year that we to change from the over the intercom announcements. And then uh, me and Dom decided that uh, that's just what we were called to do as student council members. Could you please talk for several moments about what led you to being a member of the Morning Announcements crew? I'll tell you one thing, I sure love attention. And where do you draw your inspiration? Well, I, one of my biggest inspirations was definitely, um, he's, he's pretty famous, I don't know if you know him. Uh, my dad. Where do you, what sort of movies do you draw inspiration from? What sort of television shows do you draw inspiration one from? And how do we see those permeating our morning announcements? Well, personally, I think a lot of my inspiration, a lot of it comes from memes. Could you talk a little bit more about the interesting fineries of running the camera? Oh, well, you gotta get those like angles, you know, mm -hmm. 90 degrees, 180. One time I did a 360. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about working with Ben? Uh, ben gets work done. And when he wants to get work done, he tells everyone what to do and just kind of unifies us. So you'd say that Ben is holding you back from expressing your true self yes. all over the morning announcements? Well, they're not in the morning. Wait, oh yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Ben is definitely... He acts like he's the, you know, the most important anchor, but really, I think the most important anchor is everyone except Ben. <laughs> what is your opinion of Ben Schmidt? Well, you and know, where does he rank in the pan pantheon of Schmitz? The rank? Ooh, I'm going to start with that. I think, <laughs> think I'm not going to rank his two younger siblings because we haven't experienced them. Yep. Yep. But... What about Ben uh, compared to Shelly? Shelly. Um... Shelly's smarter, a mm -hmm. um, little wiser, mm -hmm. but Ben just has, just like, spice. A unique charisma. He has spice. So, maybe, maybe equal, equal on the scale. Well, could you talk a little bit about what went into the decision when you're interviewing some people? I'm reminded of the robotics interview, I think, from time to time, where you sit in a circle and then the camera's kind of going around the yeah. circle depending on who's talking. Well, what, what, what led to that? And why do you think it's a particularly effective way to shoot an interview? 
Well, we don't like chairs here. Mm -hmm. So we sat on the ground. Yes. And formed a circle. Yes. And But why the camera in the center rotating around as opposed to the camera on the outside of the circle looking in? Is that a commentary on like the democratic nature of how Ben runs this, where it's not from the outside in but the inside out, or is it something else? That was some deep stuff. Yeah. I think it was all Ben and it was a metaphor. Thank you guys for watching us and supporting us for our first 50 videos. We'll hope to be around for your next 50. If you want to check out all the exclusive interviews with the Lindenberg, the Mr. Lindenberg, you can check it out on our channel, Some News Announcements. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and share for more. Bye.